Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today I have a new video for you in the book of Psalms. That's the book of the Bible that I'm currently working through. Today's process video will feature Faber-Castell pit artist pens and then some watercolors. So I'm excited to share this with you. Let's jump right in. As you can see on the previous page here for the end of Psalm 31, I did some art and also on the page behind it for Psalm 34, I've completed some Bible art. So this page is going to be kind of sandwiched between two other completed pages. Here is the verse that I'm wanting to feature. And so I was quickly sketching it out on a sketch pad and then I'm penciling it in. I sped this part up because it's so hard to see the light, light pencil that I'm sketching in anyway. And in a minute here, you'll get to see actually what I've drawn in and more of the lettering as I go over it with these pit pens. These are just fine point Faber-Castell pit pens. They are permanent, which is awesome because I'm gonna be going over this page with a bunch of watercolor and these pens won't move at all because they are so permanent. It's just a really nice method that I love using quite frequently. So the page on the left there was part of my Steadfast Love series and I created templates for that page as well as several other pages having to do with the steadfast love of God. Visit my Facebook group, the link is in the description box below, and head into the files section, you'll be able to download a template of that besieged city on the left there. And I was inspired to do kind of a tale of two cities, so to speak. So the city on the left is besieged and falling apart. And on the right, because I wanted to feature this verse also about the steadfast love of God, uh, that it is upon us even as we hope in him, I thought, let's do a hope-filled city, one that's not besieged, but one that is just flourishing. So in this city here, I'm using lighter, happier colors. I've added some trees and some grass. There's nothing living in the besieged city, but over here, this is the city filled with hope and it is flourishing and thriving. It's a healthy city, I guess. And you know, that is just a picture of the book of Psalms. It's a picture of real life that there are days that we are living in a besieged city and then there are days that we feel hopeful and filled with and connected to the Spirit of God. What a good reminder that we are not weirdos, that we are just going through what is very normal. The psalmist went through life the same as we do, and we struggle at times, and at other times we feel the incredible blessing that is ours because of the Lord. So as I watercolor onto this page, you'll notice some stuff from the back of the page is showing through. And the reason for that is that while your Bible page is wet, it's going to be a bit more transparent. But as you watch this dry, and I will be using a blow dryer to dry the page at the end, all of what you're seeing come through from the back side of the page will disappear. So if you don't believe me, keep watching, <laughs> you'll see. But that's just something to keep in mind. If you're watercoloring on a page that has something on the back of it, don't worry if you start seeing things show through. Once the page is dry, that won't be happening and it'll just look like there's nothing on the back of the page and life will be good. Speaking of things showing through from the back of the page, I do wanna mention this page is not prepped with anything. I never prep my pages when I use watercolor. I find that the watercolor behaves more like watercolor ought to on a page that has not been prepped. So that's just my personal preference. And I'll show you the back of the page at the end and you'll see that it wouldn't have been necessary for me to prep the page anyway to prevent bleed through or anything like that. So keep watching for that as well. So I'm just adding some really lively colors here on top of the buildings and on the leaves of trees. And you'll see me use this technique where I take a paper towel and just kind of pick up extra color anywhere that I felt it was getting too dark or too vibrant. I wanted to keep everything on this page pretty pastel-y and light just to really bring across that contrast to the page on the left, that besieged city. This was such a fun process to just kind of imperfectly sketch on all these little houses and buildings. And then I'm leaving the windows mostly white, whereas on the other page they were very dark and some of them were even broken. I'm just leaving these really 
light and open. Again, just to get that idea across that this is a hope-filled city, a city that is trusting in the Lord and his steadfast love. I'm so thankful that as we read the word, we get to witness the struggle and the real life of other people who came before us. Listening to the psalmist talk about the besieged city and the difficulties and the struggles, and at the same time, choosing to put his hope in God and choosing to believe that the Lord's steadfast love is real and his steadfast love is true. As you watch me continue to paint here, I do want to mention that if you do go and download that template for the city on the left, that's the besieged city, you could easily use that template as a traceable and make yourself a city more like this with the windows all whole and happy colors and a nice springy day. So be sure anytime you grab a template, you are totally allowed to adapt it and use it as you like. So now you're seeing me dry the page and you can definitely see that nothing is showing through anymore as this page dries completely. It's not going to be an issue at all. Things look way less muddy now and the way they're supposed to. Here's a glimpse at the back of the page. As you can see, nothing's changed there. Nothing bled through, nothing's been damaged or anything like that. So this is just a really good way to go ahead and use watercolors on both sides of the page without worrying too much about it. Here's your last glimpse of the page that I created. I hope this encourages you to jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. If you've enjoyed this video, here's a couple more videos of mine you might also enjoy. Don't forget to click on my face and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any new videos as they go live. Have a wonderful day.